Oh, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me well? Hello? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so uh, as uh, Lucia introduced, so uh, today I'm going to share you guys about my experience in diagnosis of the African suture screening disease. So let's look back some background uh, detail, uh, some detail about um, some basic detail for suture screening. Uh, suture screening is one of the most destructive diseases for the suture industry around the world. Uh, this disease is limited to sutures and a few other genera of the Rutaceae, and there are currently three forms of suture screening disease. The first one is Asian form, or well known as the Hualongin HIV. This form is associated with the heat tolerant bacterial disease Candidatus liberi bacteria aestheticus. The short name is LAST. Uh, the second form is American form, is associated with the American species, short name is LAM, which is less heat tolerant than LAST. And the, the third one is African citrus screening form, is associated with the heat sensitive uh, uh, Candidatus liberi bacteria uh, Africanus, the short name is LAF. And all the trees form of citrus screen is uh, transmitted by the Silix, uh, Diophorina citri, Chelsea aurichase, and uh, Cacopsilla citri sugar. So, one infecting the plant, the citrus screen can cause a number of symptoms, and the most typical symptom is causing the leaf uh, urine with blotchy mottle. It also makes the leaf vein urine and the tweet die back. It's called the plant grows barley with the shoot grow upright. Also make the fruit uh, uh, smaller, lopsided, and showing uh, ripening color in inversions where the fruit uh, getting started in yellowing uh, on the end near the stem instead of uh, on the other end, like in, in case of uh, for the healthy fruits. At the moment, all the three forms of citrus screen are exported to Australia. However, because they are spreading, so they actually uh, potentially uh, pose the bicycle threat to uh, Australia. And uh, we have the diagnostic assay for all of them. However, only those for uh, Asian form uh, has been validated and used for diagnostics, but not for the other two, LAM and LAF, due to we don't have the positive material for them. So for that reason, in, 2000, in June 2019, I, I, I traveled to Nelspread in South Australia to undertake the diagnostic training for African screening at the Citrus Research International. And uh, the other purpose of my trip was were also to source the lab infected plant material to prepare the positive DNA control for validation of the PISA. And my trip was funded by Plant Health Australia under the, the diagnostic residential program. So at the first days of my training, I collected five samples to prepare the bossy conjoint. The first sample is the healthy uh, rock lemon, which is uh, used for the negative conjoint in my PCR. The second one is the lab infected Madame Venus Swiss Orange, uh, used at the bossy con conjoint. The other three is lab infected rock lemon, lab infected carizo change and the mandarin fruit showing the uh, color in person. Uh, and for the, for the extraction for the leaf, I use mixed ribs. And for the fruit, I use the pit, which is the white part inside the skin. And this selection was based on the report uh, uh, by Lee uh, and her co author in 2019 in uh, phytopathology, where they reported the, uh, the mixed ribs and the, the pit uh, have the highest concentration of the bacteria as compared to the other parts of the uh, leaf and the fruit. Following the DNA adjustment, I use the conventional PCR to detect uh, the laugh, and I expected all the four samples I collected were positive, but uh, uh, only the sample two and the sample five uh, were positive. The sample three and the sample four was not. So the lesson from this result is the leaf collected from the infected plant can also be negative for last because it sometimes it takes some time for the laugh trans spread to the other parts of the uh, a plant, or the left uh, can distribute this unevenly in the plant. Uh, so, because 
to, to have more positive control to bring back to a trailer. So the next day I collected six more samples. And this time I got on six samples positive with love. And the most unnoticed one is the nut sample 11, which is I take the asymptomatic uh, leaf uh, uh, from the infected plant. And it's also so positive with love. So the lesson from here is the asymptomatic the asymptomatic leaves can be also positive with, for love because when infected, it takes some time for the plant to show the, the symptom. So by the time that when we see the symptom, it, it's too late. Uh, in my training, I also have a chance to visit uh, two orchards uh, growing uh, Valencia oranges, where uh, they have a, quite a few plants uh, uh, have the citrus uh, greening disease. As you can see from the picture, the plants show in yellow with blotchy motto, and also the fruit show in the ripening uh, color in inversion. Uh, from the field, I took five, four samples for testing. And uh, the sample one, the sample two, they, they, they are symptomatic, but they test negative. And the, the sample three and four was positive. So uh, how can we distinguish the, the symptom between the negative sample and the positive sample? You can see both samples show symptom, yellow in symptom, but for the negative sample, the symptom is more symmetric. We see uh, uh, in contrast with the positive sample, the symptom more asymmetric uh, with like yellow and with blotchy, like green and yellow. In addition to conventional visa, I also, we also use the QBISA to detect uh, uh, the, the disease. Uh, the QBISA is more recommended uh, uh, to detect for surveillance for screening and also to detect the asymmetric uh, sample because it's file is more sensitive than the con conventional PCR. Uh, the first primer in the column uh, is um, the universal form of primer can detect on three uh, forms, Asian, American, and, and, and African. The second primer is the form of primer for Asian form. The third primer is the form of primer for African form. The, the next one is the form of primer for American form, and all these four primers were uh, sharing the same revert primer and, and the prof. And if we detect it, um, if we use the plan, you can use the cost for internal conjoint. And if you uh, um, screen in uh, the disease from silic, you can use the wind, the uh, windless gene. And recently, uh, uh, they proposed to replace the form of primer for Asian form uh, by another primer. It's called last 4 g primer because they were it, it was found that the HB ASF primer left uh, missing one uh, neurotype G in the primer, which is reduced the sensitivity of the assay. So for the citrus silic, um, um, this is the vector for transmitting the African uh, disease, even they look very tiny and they look very beautiful. Uh, under microscopy, it look the it have the wind look like the fairy tale wind. And um, I also have a, a chance to see them, even I'm not an entomologist. So um, uh, to uh, when when they colonize the leaf, they they leave the they cause the hole or the pump on the leaf, which is also the size of their present. So when you see something like that, you may feel that this is the child are may present there. To identify the child erythiase, we can uh, based on the morphology where we're looking at uh, where the is have the first branching of the four wing vents trifurcating uh, uh, as in the picture one A, and there's no extra cross veil uh, uh, um, as in the one B, which is for the the other one is dial. Forina situ. And we also looking at the head to identify the Chiosa origins, where the head showing the visible uh, chinocons at in the picture 2B, and there's no meta uh, bacitasos first uh, in the leg. And also to identify the Chiosa, you can use the DNA barcoding to sequence in the COI chain. And this, the specimen I, I printed in and I do the COI sequence and this fall in is a uh, proof that this is a chiosa or uh, uh, 
so the outcomes from my trip um, uh, for the diagnostic skill and experiences, uh, the most typical symptom for African tissue screening disease is the leaf uh, showing yellow with the blotchy motto and asymmetric. And for the fruit, it's showing color inversion. And because it takes time uh, for the last president to the other parts of the plant, so sometimes you can get the leaf from infected plant and it's that is that is negative, which is normal. And in this case, you should sample the other part, which is the older leaf, is preferred for sampling and testing. Uh, it also takes time for the infected plant showing the symptoms. So that's uh, so in this case, you can get the symptom asymptomatic leaf can be that is positive. So the lesson from here, don't wait for the symptom. Don't wait to see the symptom because by the time you wait for the symptom, it's too late. So uh, it's recommended is uh, doing regular sur surveillance and testing the seedless by the time we detected them rather than testing for the plant. And in this case, the qPCR is because it's, it's more sensitive than the conventional PCR. Uh, from the chip, I also generated a number of lab positive DNA control, which I already bring back to Australia, and we have been due for uh, validation of the PCR assays, and one, one is, has been has been validated, which can yield for diagnosis, uh, and this can help to fill the Australian diagnostic gap for the disease, and also facilitating the early de detection of the disease in the, in the event of the disease spreading to, to our country. And I also print back uh, uh, many specimens of the Chaosa origins, which we can use at the diagnostic re diagnostics reference is now uh, deposited in the herbarium in uh, our lab. Uh, in addition to professional experience, I also got some wonderful experience where I have a chance to visit the cruel National Park, where I actually spot many wild animals, where the first time in my life. So um, where I can see uh, giraffe, impala, I can see uh, hyena, and I also can see the high, the zebra walking, the zino crossing the road. Uh, the lion walking in front of me, and uh, heaps of elephants. So uh, very wonderful. <laughs> and okay, to finish my experience, I would like to thank you so much to Dr. Greenis, who is really the person who trained me for the CCC and uh, her staff member in CRI. And also thank you, the Plan Health Australia, for funding my training. And thank you for your listening.